gained the lead. Lost the lead. Tied the leader. Greetings everyone, my name is SRG21, and I am the Schizophrenic Rabbit. I have come for your spleen. <laughs> and your liver, and your kidneys. So you best hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your husband, because rabbits come to kill you. <laughs> this is a Halo gameplay. This is one of the first actual gameplays I ever got. I was, I remember like when I, Halo first came out, I was talking to someone online and they said dude you suck and I was like this is the first time I've ever really played Halo online I played a bit of Halo 3 online and I sucked epically on that and he's like oh okay and I was like well do you have any tips for me to get better and he said yeah go on SWAT and learn your shoot and I was like learn my shoot why would I learn shoot I know how to shoot I press shoot button I shoot I shoot button bullets come out of my boot and I shoot that, that's how I shoot why do I need to learn how to shoot and he's like, no, you, make you go and you learn how to shoot in it, blap. And I was like, okay, I'll learn how to shoot then. And what I didn't realize at the time is Halo um, is a very accurate game. If you are not good with your shots, even against average players, you will die. And you will die a lot. Halo is very um, much about position. Uh, I can't speak today. I can never speak. I can never speak in this commentary. It's not used to it. Perci precision. There we go. Precision. Marksmanship and precision. I, I, I said it once, can't say again. Anyway, it's about fine aim and fine shooting. And especially in SWAT, you die very quickly because it is one shot to the head with a pistol or with the um, DMR, which is the battle rifle basically. And it's very deadly and very evil and mean and hurtful. But this, you know, this game starts out a bit slowly, and I get kind of better at towards the end as I'm sort of learning my shot. I'm, I consider myself a fast learner, but in terms of Halo, I am nowhere near good. I'm playing against people that are um, bad, not bad players, but it's when Halo um, Reach came out, so we're all kind of on the same level. But these people are obviously much more experienced than I am. I think we have. Um, a good player on our team that is basically driving the team forward and pushing for us to win. I was just like, yes, it's always good. It's good in games like Halo that you can be a bad person and a bad player, but you can still contribute to your team and one person can literally carry you. Um, it may sound bad, it's like, why do you want someone to carry you? But especially if you're a noob or noob or nub or whatever you want to call it, or knobhead. <laughs> Um, it's not like Battlefield um, where if you are a bad player you will affect your team and you will there's not going to be one person that can carry the team for you everyone has to pull their own weight but in games like Halo and Call of Duty um, to some extent you can have a bad person and a bit more in Halo to the extent that you know uh, yeah you, you know you don't really have to be the best player in the world because this other great player who's sitting there carrying the team for you. And it gives you a time to adjust and learn to the game. Rather than like Battlefield you're just being arse raped and arse handed to you. By a bunch of good players on the other team who are organised and doing call outs and stuff. And there's you sitting with your like machine gun, machine gun trying to hit fire someone across the map. Because you don't really know what you're doing. Obviously I wouldn't advise that. But you know some people do do that. And I have seen it in Battlefield. But whereas in Halo, you know, you can make mistakes. You, you're given an assault rifle in most matches and a pistol. Um, these are both adequate weapons. You you learn pretty quickly that you take the guy's shields down with the assault rifle and you switch to a pistol and shoot them in the head. Or try and go for the headshot because the pistol will do more damage to the head than an assault rifle will. And in games like SWAT, you learn um, precision shooting. You learn how to get on target quickly because in SWAT, you need to get on target quickly. I know in this game I have a couple of, um, well, three or four kills are on some AFK guy, I think he is, or someone even worse than me, and it's just like, okay, how is this working? Why is this not working? Urgh. And you're just like, wow. 
yeah, especially in Halo, you don't have to be a great player to help your team. You don't have to be a great player in Call of Duty to help your team. For example, in Domination, you can just throw yourself continuously on the flag while the good players are actually, you know, taking people out. And if air support comes in, you just point your um, Stinger or Estrella missile up in the air and you just fire and take that thing down. It's like not a big deal or an, and really not a big issue for that. Whoops, I've been recording way too long. I just noticed that I still have my recorder on and it's on 10 minutes. And the game finished 5 minutes ago. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. This, as I've improved in Halo, I found that I've improved in um, a lot of different Call of Duties. I know Halo came out, I think, just before Call of Duty Black Ops. I think Halo really taught me how to, because um, in Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4, and um, to some extent World at War, but World at War I used more bolt action rifles and I was more um, accurate with those. But Halo really taught me how to be more precise in my aim and um, how to get on target quicker. Even though Halo is a 30 frames per second game and Call of Duty is 60, which is a bar, like hugely different on consoles. And it really just helped me to get on aim a lot quicker and Black Ops was a lot slower paced to my liking, um, I know a lot of people didn't like Black Ops, um, it's slower pace and stuff, but I really did, I thought it was interesting, I thought it was good, um, it took what Call of Duty had great and just slowed it the fuck down, which I think Call of Duty, Call of Duty I should say, really did need, and Halo really just helped me get deal with those sl slow situations and fast situations, because in Halo you can go for like a minute and not see anyone or not really be in any um, situation where it, your life would be in danger because you have your team backing you, you know you're in a safe position, there's only one guy coming around the corner and there's like two or three of you the odds of him killing you guys are like neg negligible but there will be situations where there's two guys coming around the corner and only one of you and you're just like, well, what do I do? Do I throw him a grenade? Do I shoot my assault rifle? Do I run away? Do I lay a trap? You're just like, what the hell do I do? Anyway, I hope you can look at some of my older Halo gameplays and look at this one and see, yeah, he actually has improved. Um, I hope you enjoyed this commentary. I'm using my new Snowball mic, so hopefully this will be different or sound better. Still wondering where to position it for my face. Do I position it here or do I position it here? I have no idea, just positioning it or kind of here, maybe maybe here. Maybe I need to put like a um a little X marker down on my table and just move the mic back and forth and hopefully it will get there. But I hope you enjoy hope you have enjoyed this gameplay. It's one of my older ones, like I said, one of my first in Halo SWAT. And I hope you have a wonderful, splendid and joyous evening. I'll catch you guys later.